I'm Dax Hayden of Hayden Outdoors and we're here on the Clovercliff Ranch here in uh, uh, central Kansas. Many famous people stay here when it was a bed and breakfast in the 1990s. And Mr. Donahue and his family took great pride in bringing this ranch back to what it was and the legacy that it was the Clovercliff. This ranch was started by Mr. Blackshire in 1860, the same year that President Lincoln was elected for the first time. The West was not yet won by any manner of means when, when Blackshire started his ranch. The first building on the ranch was a 12 by 18, one story, one room building with a fireplace for cooking. That was the whole house. Since 1860, three owners, and this house has been added on to several times. Today it's a two story house, 3,608 I believe square foot on two levels. It has uh, four bedrooms, three and a half baths. Jim Donahue redid the house in, I believe, 88. It's got hot water heat throughout. It's got new windows throughout. It's got a new roof, at least at that time in 88 or 89. The flooring is excellent. The woodwork is excellent. There are three other houses, two nice homes. Uh, they look out at the same view as the Clovercliff house. There's so much history around the house and around the ranch, Kansas formed around the ranch as we know it today. When you get on the Clover Cliff Ranch, you see the famous Flint Hills of Kansas, uh, the rock walls. Back in the uh, late 1800s, the folks kept their cattle where they needed them and, and uh, did a lot of work to build these rock fences, which worked amazingly well to keep cattle in certain areas of the pasture. It's interesting because the rock walls around this part of the country aren't usually intact. Workmanship was amazing. You know, you could stand there and look all day and think, I wonder what that guy was thinking about when he was stacking these stones. I wonder if he knew that 160 years from now, that, that'll still be standing here. The ranch was named was Clover, which is the alfalfa that was some of the first alfalfa planted west of the Mississippi. It's one of the best cattle operations in the state of Kansas, or maybe even the Midwest and it's world famous for its grasses and its regeneration, and the carry capacity is approximately six to seven acres per cow unit. Flint Hills are known as the best high protein grasses uh, in the world, and obviously they're all in Kansas. Uh, the gains up to three pounds a day uh, on yearling cattle, and of course, as far as a mother cow operation, 550, 650 cows uh, on this size ranch. As far as a pretty scene in Kansas, uh, you won't find a better one. And you won't find a better planned place as far as the way the pastures lay and the way the working facilities uh, blend into each other than this place. It's got hay storage at the west end and hay storage at the east end. The scale is a certified scale and weighs semis. Uh, the headquarters are located in the south east quarter of the ranch, so if a real bad storm blows in, it, it blows in from the northwest. And the cattle would naturally filter down to the cliffs and be protected. And uh, if you're in a cattle business, that, that might be as big a thing as there is. It, it has everything that an operating ranch would need. Uh, the overall hunting on the ranch is just phenomenal. It's uh, world-class white-tailed deer hunting. The big old bucks uh, in this part of Kansas are world renowned. Everybody knows uh, about those big Kansas deer. And with good feed ground uh, below the, the ranch and on the ranch, and good, t again, timber draws with excellent water, there's plenty of bedding area and uh, good sustainable cover for those large Kansas deer. It supports a, a heavy number of deer along with a great population, of, uh, a great carrying capacity for the cattle. So it's an overall unit and it works really, really well. Uh, the ranch is full of uh, Rio Grande turkeys and uh, some eastern turkeys and, and then some cross and then also it's really good waterfowl hunting. We had a big flock of geese almost land on us this morning while we were hunting quail. You could decoy ducks and geese by the thousands in. Uh, some of the film you have of it has a thousand geese in the air at a time. My passion is a quail, but uh, world class quail hunting is extremely rare these days and the ranch has so many draws and so much grass that it would 
lend itself to be a paradise. Quail populations across the U.S. Are, are dramatically down and this ranch is unique because they have stable good populations of quail and uh, could also be enhanced. Come in! Today we were able to get out on the ranch with the owner's permission and take the pointing dogs, uh, German short hairs, and walk up through some of the timbered draws in the pasture and we're able to get some points of quail in the big tall grass with the Flint Hills in the background. It's just amazing. It's a gun dog uh, person's dream. It's a situation where you just always dream about hunting quail in the Flint Hills of Kansas. Bob White quail, best bird in the world. Coming from a man from pure pheasant country. As a sportsman, you can hunt almost year round and uh, never stop. Uh, except for a little fishing in the summertime. You get back in the Flint Hills grasses and see the ponds and the uh, uh, bass filled creeks, a panfish, uh, lots of ducks and, and geese, bobwhite quail, white tailed deer, and it's just a pretty amazing place. We're lucky to be here today, a uh, beautiful day here on the Clovercliff Ranch in central Kansas. <laughs>